On Monday, Kamal Harris sat down with leadership of the Teamsters Union, one of the biggest labor unions in the country, with well over a million members hoping to get their endorsement since, well, they have officially endorsed every Democrat presidential candidate for the last 30 years. But things got awkward when they didn't endorse her. <laughs> and then things got even more awkward yesterday when this news broke. We have breaking news. The Teamsters Union will not endorse either candidate in this year's presidential race. Uh, so you know what that means. Unions, a critical part, of course, of President Biden's winning coalition uh, four years ago. But this year, the Teamsters president spoke at the Republican National Convention, uh, putting support in doubt. And I can't imagine how much it pained the editors over at CNN to actually type up and publish this accurate headline. Teamsters won't endorse in presidential race after releasing internal polling showing most members support Trump. This is absolutely devastating for the Democrats and the liberal media, but they're putting on a happy face, trying to pretend that it's really no big deal. Do you think the Teamsters non-endorsement matters? It's, uh, I think, 59.6% per of the union supported a Trump endorsement compared to 34% supporting a Harris endorsement. Does that worry you? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I think that we have to recognize as a starting place is that... Oh, we'll see, all right. Just like CBS News found out when they finally got out of their bubble and actually hit the streets and went and talked to some average Americans. What issue is most important to you? I'm extremely concerned about the border. Illegals, they gotta go. People are coming here seeking asylum. Baloney. They're coming here for the freebies. Their little outing gave them quite the reality check, as the reporter later admitted when she was back in her ivory tower in New York. What was really incredible is in every single restaurant of the people willing to talk to us, we could only find one Harris supporter in mm. every restaurant. And we left no stone unturned. I approached every single person. <laughs> what a shame. Here's Corrine Jean-Pierre, old Joe's, I guess Kamala Harris's, or whoever is the pretend president these days, official spokesperson over at the White House, trying to spin the terribly bad news that the Teamsters didn't endorse a Democrat for the first time in 30 years. The union also put out its internal polling that showed um, that there was a pretty wide margin of rank and file membership that supported former President Donald Trump. To what extent is that a referendum on the work of this administration? Look, I'm not going to speak to to uh, uh, to their poll. I'm not going to speak to uh, the rank. Uh, listen, you're not supposed to ask me these kinds of embarrassing questions because the Democrat Party obviously is no longer the party for the working class. It's the party of illegal aliens, of non-citizens, and those who are too lazy to even get a job. And so they're living off of our tax dollars. Did you vote? Are you going to vote? Oh, will you ask people that you know to vote? Please? And will you ask them to vote for me? <laughs> Thank you. Wakanda forever. Paid for by Kamala Harris. Look, it is, uh, we're talking about a 2024, obviously. And we're talking about over a million people in one of the biggest labor unions in the country. An election that is just a few weeks away. I can't speak to that. I can't speak to uh, their decision to endorse, not endorse. But Kamala Harris is so amazing and so successful, so brilliant, so extraordinary that she has a hard time being understood by us little people. You know, I was the first person to be a woman at Attorney General of California. I was the first woman to be elected District Attorney of San Francisco. I was the first person of color to be elected Attorney General of California. Are. Whatever. First, first, first. Welcome to the role model club. It's tough. Being a part of the role model club means being in a room where sometimes you may be the only person who has had the experiences you've had. You mean the only DEI hire? You mean a person who isn't qualified in any way, shape or form for the job that they have? And you know it.
Tell us about the good old days, NBC. So this is before, like right when the pandemic was striking. I mean, look, you had home loans at three and a half percent, right? Oh, <laughs> car loans, hard car loans, five point two percent. Credit card interest rates, which are always terrible. Look at where they are today. So the idea of Oy. the Fed cutting interest rates would be these numbers would start to come down. You can see mortgage rates have already been falling in anticipation of the Fed cutting rates. They'll likely continue to fall. A lot of really smart people I know say you're going to have a five number there sometime, maybe early next year, even late this year. So for those people who are looking to buy a home, if you can find one in this tight housing market, mm. or trying to refinance more likely if you've recently bought, that's going to be the first place you're going to see the, the effects of lower interest rates. So yeah, and then the housing prices themselves are going to skyrocket because everybody who can afford one is going to try to buy one. And so the lower interest rates are going to do nothing regarding the overall costs. And while Donald Trump has little to no control over the Federal Reserve, which is an independent banking cartel, his policies can certainly offer some economic ease in other sectors. And he held a rally in New York yesterday and... This was the local welcoming committee. Get a load of that. In blue New York. This is a view from inside the rally. Another absolutely jam-packed event where he cracked some hilarious jokes like this one, which, by the way, usually... Uh, have my show completely family friendly but just a heads up he does use a very minor curse word coming up here in a second we can do all of this and more but patriotic new yorkers must get your asses out to vote <laughs> how to get up get a gala harry get up harry harry get your fat ass out of the couch you're gonna vote for trump today harry get up harry come on let's go he also reiterated his top priority, which reflects the top concern of Americans. Starting on day one, I will seal the border and stop the migrant invasion, an invasion like no country has ever seen before. We will stop it immediately. We will carry out the largest deportation operation of criminals in American history. We're getting them out of our country. And while that would make a good soundbite for a quick campaign, and Kamala Harris gave us an even better one. Now they have pledged to carry out the largest deportation, a mass deportation, in American history. Yes. Imagine what that would look like and I what that wait. would be. Yes. I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. <laughs> And I'm Mark Dice. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for new here. And in case you haven't seen it, I did launch a new Donald Trump as Neo in the Matrix shirt, which you can order from my online store at markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check it out.